Hello and welcome to another video. Now this video is on a franchise I enjoy quite a bit and that franchise is known as Star Wars. Now I might have mentioned that I like Star Wars a few times in the past. It is my favourite franchise after all and so I'm quite passionate about it. Disney have kind of ruined that. I feel like they've ruined Star Wars. This is regarding the movies mostly, as I haven't watched Resistance, the TV show. I haven't played the games or read the comics. But on the movie front, which is what Star Wars started as, I do think Disney have ruined it. Now, I liked The Force Awakens. I felt it was a good start to the new trilogy, you know. It was a rehash for Episode 4, that is true. But it served as a good launching point for whatever they decided to do with Episode Eight. And what they decided to do with episode 8 was, uh, well it was something. It was, it was a bit shit, wasn't it? I feel like the, they switched up directors and that was the downfall. Because in episode 9, you saw JJ trying to correct whatever Ryan Johnson did. And it didn't, it didn't work well. Which is why I felt they should not have switched directors for the episodes. I mean, there was going to be a completely different director for this episode, but they got, they got dropped, I believe. So it, it it baffles me why Disney thought this was a, a way to go about it. I mean, we've got episodes 1 to 6 are all directed by George Lucas. Like, he had a hands-on effect on those movies, which is why they're classed as, like, proper Star Wars films. But when Disney took over, they dropped George... Right, George Lucas, like, I think he gave Disney, like, huge list of shit he had planned for Star Wars. And they were just like, yo, let's just yeet this out of here and uh, do our own thing and hire... Three different directors for a trilogy, which I feel should be directed by the same person. And I'm sure I'm not the only person who feels that way. See, so yeah, episode 7 was a good jumping off point. Episode 8 went downhill. And then episode 9 kind of came back, but not really. Because of the previous films and what was established and whatnot. Knights of Ren. Now, I I thought it would be cool, you know, a little emo boy band for our, our lad Kylo Ren. But... No, they got shown in a trailer for episode 7, in a flashback sequence for episode 7, completely dropped from episode 8, for whatever the fuck reason, and then they got brought back in episode 9, and apparently they're a big thing, even though this is the first time we've heard of them. I'm a history boy now. Knights of Ren were severely underused and underrated in my opinion. I thought like they could have been much, much better, but they were squandered. Praetorian Guards were fucking dumb. Palpatine... Creating Snoke. What? I don't really have a problem with Palpatine creating Snoke. It's just kind of out of the blue. The real issue I feel is with um, Ray Palpatine. Ray being a Palpatine. I feel that that is fucking stupid. In my humble opinion. It's literally a Reddit theory <laughs> that Ray is a Palpatine. And they was like, yeah, that, that seems about right. I, I liked where they were going in episode 8. Saying that. Ray was a nobody. You come from nothing. You're nothing. But not to me. I thought that was, you know, that's... Uh, originally, I was hoping she was a Kenobi. But when I saw the old the old theory that... She, well, when, when they said that she's a nobody, I was like, you know what? That also works too, because that how that is how the Force works. The Force, it can, it can go anyone. You don't even have to have Force-based parents to become a powerful Force user, like Anakin Skywalker. Palpatine did not create him, so Kylo and Rey kissing, it ain't incest, alright? Sh shut your mouth. Um, force healing, how did Rey learn it? We don't know. Is it because she has all the Jedi inside of her? Because none of the Jedi that talked to her were shown to have force healing powers. How did Kylo Ren know it? I don't know, but she did the sacred text. I don't, I don't know. We never saw Luke Skywalker use it. We never see... Any of the Jedi that speak to Rey using it? Did did Snoke teach Kylo Ren? Did did Palpatine teach Kylo Ren for shielding? I don't know. But it's there as a crutch that the movie can rely on to remove any sort of suspense from the movie. I mean, Kylo Ren was about a fucking... Uh, he, he clearly wasn't going to murder Rey. Like, he's not going to kill Rey. But then Princess is just like... Bam! He's like, yo, what the fuck? Sure. Dark Side Rey... Was not used to the fullest. I f I feel it could have been a very um, an amazing twist if Ray became Darkseid and Kylo Ren 
was the one that redeemed her. They cancelled 1313, which was going to be a bounty hunter game set in the lower levels of Coruscant. It sounded really fucking fun, and we never got it. I mean, it was dubious whether we'd get it in the first place because it was kind of like very under wraps, but then Disney straight up cancelled it, so we never got that. But we did get Jedi Fallen Order, which is a good game, so that's okay. I haven't played, I played it, but the videos I've seen of it, it looks like a very good game, and my friends have told me that it's a good game. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is good now. Uh, I think that was done under Disney, so you did a good job there, boys. Star Wars Battlefront 2, a very fun game. I've, I've been playing it way too much recently. This is a good game. Might do another stream on it, so I'm, I'm better at the game now. The comics, I haven't read them. I've seen sort of stories they've been doing with like Dr. Aphra and stuff. And I've also seen that they've been accused of copying art on multiple occasions. Yes, Marvel Comics... Who do the Star Wars? Who are doing a Star Wars run? Have been accused multiple times of copying and stealing artwork to use in their comics. Now there is an argument to be made because it saves time. It means they can get the art done a lot quicker. But it's also stealing people's work that you don't have the right to steal. So it makes you think, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> now what I want to talk about, I want to touch on this. The Resistance versus the First Order, slash Final Order, whichever you want to go with. I do like the design that Disney have taken with Star Wars. They've done some amazing character designs, like the Inquisitors, they're fucking cool. Uh, I think for the most part, First Order Troopers have cool armor designs. Kylo Ren looks like a cool boy. I like Kylo Ren. <laughs> I do I like the way the First Order look, although... Somehow, this allegory for the German Reich, well, I mean, it, it's kind of like history repeating itself, really. A resistance, say the Allies, or like the French, who are in the Allies, but like the French resistance forces, be a much more superior foe. Now, I know they're an allegory for the German Reich, and that we shouldn't side with the Nazis, because that is bad. But at the same time... I found myself liking the First Order a lot more than I did the Resistance. I don't actively search how to play the Resistance in Star Wars Battlefront 2 because I just think they're boring. And I know that's weird because they have like all different alien species in that, which is more of a diverse range of characters than it is in the First Order. But I just think the First Order are much more interesting. They seem much more interesting in the films. And if Disney did a, like a four-piece, five-piece spin-off of like a life in the trooper of like each of the different factions so you've got the clone wars era day in the life of a clone versus day in the life of a droid then obviously imperial and rebel and then resistance in first order i think that'd be very interesting but obviously you don't want to make the nazis you don't want to make people em emphasize with the nazis yeah isn't the best idea but i think they're pretty cool and you've got the fire first legion with their replica stormtrooper costumes which are amazing mandalorian fucking sick show love it that's the thing that Disney have done well. And they've done spin-off movies well, in my opinion, as well. I liked Rogue One, and I liked Solo. I think there's a very good... I think they're the best Star Wars films that Disney have produced, in my opinion. Uh, the ending of Rebels was alright. Uh, Rebels itself wasn't the best show, especially on the back of Clone Wars. Never really lived up to it. But I think the final season kind of salvaged that a bit. A, a, a bit. <laughs> a tiny bit. Uh, we're getting Clone Wars Season 7, which is good, because I... I imagine it would have came out under Lucasfilm, but I think Disney have more budget, so they can make it much more spectacular, which is going to be fun to see. Oh yes, Captain Phasma, aka Wasted Potential. What the fuck? Captain Phasma was set up to be the Boba Fett of the trilogy. I know this is a tweet that's been doing the rounds, but I do feel that is true. She's got some cool armor. She's a cool character. She doesn't say much. And she only has like six minutes of screen time in the entire trilogy. But she has wasted potential. Like that character could have been sick. You know, she's got a fucking staff. She's got a shiny armor. She's got a gun. She's got a little droid in Battlefront 2. I feel like she could have been sick if she was used more in the films. Like an actual formidable enemy that isn't Kylo Ren. Like the... Like the uh, like a second protagonist almost because she I feel like she'd be on the ground more you know commanding her forces but no she just gets mind tricked goes into a trash compactor and then fucking dies she could have been used she could have been very cool I mean her I think her armor was off Prince Am Amadala's ship if I'm not mistaken so that's fucking cool piece of lore but no she just dies 
effectively twice because we think she's dead in the first one, then she comes back and dies in the second one. She was wasted. Cad Phasma, Knights of Ren, wasted characters. Kylo Ren, best character in the new trilogy, actually had some development to him. Uh, Finn and Poe should have been gay. R- Rose is Rose, I guess. It's n- I have nothing against the actors who portrayed the characters, all right? It's just my personal preference. John Boyega, good actor. Daisy Ridley, good actor. Adam Driver, good actor. Uh, Kelly Marie Tran, good actress. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just the characters were written poorly, and I, they did their best to play them, and I think they did good jobs. It's just I personally prefer Kylo Ren and um, to every other character in the new trilogy. So, yeah. Also, I do want to mention, um, whatever her name is, who's in charge of Lucasfilm now, uh, her, her, her saying they had no books to work from with the new trilogy, when you know full well that's false, because there's years upon years of EU law that you could have used... The fucking mm, get some good shit in there. I mean, some of it was used, yes, but when you're saying you have no books to work from, when there are in fact years and years of shit you could have worked from, it's just stupid. I mean, they did bring the Emperor back, which they did in Dark Empire, which was a bit of a mess of a story, but it happened nonetheless, and they did it. Oh, we should have seen Triclops or Luke, but we didn't, unfortunately. Yeah, well. There's nothing you can do about it now. We can just hope that Disney do better in the future, which is unlikely, but it remains to be seen. I'm a big fan of Star Wars. I do feel Disney have kind of robbed Star Wars from us in a sense, but at the same time, I do like some of the new stuff they're putting out. So it's you win some, you lose some, I guess. I just wanted to talk about Star Wars. Hope you didn't mind. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. If you like Star Wars, you know, maybe we could talk about it in the comments below. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.